not in these streets. And I'm just like you. We get in locked by these caps. And I'm just like you. We fulfill the prophecies. And I'm just like you. You might be light, I might be dark. But I'm just like you. We kill each other over colors. And I'm just like you. I'm in these ghettos, in these slums. And I'm just like you. They call you nigga, call me spit. And I'm just like you. You were 1619, I was 1492. We get in shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. We get in locked by these caps. And I'm just like you. Welcome to FCN Quick News of the Day. I'm your host, Officer Judah, and in today's news. How Tyler, the creator, felt about Jaden Smith publicly calling him his boyfriend. Mm. Read on. Jaden Smith's rumor boyfriend, Tyler, the creator, had his thoughts about their relationship going public. Mm -hmm. Smith has often shared his admiration for Tyler. The rapper's have been close friends for several years and have, been, and have even collaborated on music together. Mm -hmm. However, fans might be wondering if Tyler was utterly uncomfortable with Smith's... Utterly, utterly comfortable. Utterly comfortable with Smith's multiple reveals. Mm -hmm. Re jump down. Tyler, the creator, reacted to Jaden Smith referring to him as his boyfriend via Twitter. Go ahead. As someone who grew up in the spotlight, Smith... Has had, his, has had his fair share of romantic rumors. Smith and Kylie Jenner reportedly dated in high school. Smith fro frolicked around town with Sarah Snyder and Odessa Alden. Mm -hmm. However, he rarely spoke about some regions on his personal life publicly. Right. So he, he, we, we knew about the uh, heterosexual uh, uh, dealings with the young man, but now there's something a little bit different about him and his brother Tyler. Go down to uh, where it says after. Scroll up again. Right there. After his reveal, uh -huh. Smith tagged Tyler on Twitter and told him that their secret was out. Mm -hmm. Tyler laughed off Smith's remarks in reply to his tweet. Ha ha ha, you a crazy end. A man, Tyler wrote. Right, so because he uh, went on live TV, we're going to read that right now, he went on live TV and actually said that uh, Tyler, the creator, was his boyfriend. Jaden Smith called Tyler, the creator, his boyfriend on more than one occasion. More than one occasion, okay. I recently? I recently said that Tyler, the creator, is my boyfriend, and that's true, mm. Smith confirmed. Mm. So just so, just so you know. Okay, uh, scroll down. Both Jaden Smith and Tyler, the creator, have reportedly dated Kendall, Gen okay. Kendall Jenner. Mm -hmm. uh, scroll down. All right, read that last one. Uh, the, uh, scroll up. Scroll up a little bit right there. Wh while, while Smith. While Smith and Jenner eventually squashed their romantic rumors and remained friends, the Keeping Up with the Kardashians star also reportedly dated Tyler in 2016. After photos surfaced of the two hanging out, at the Grove in L.A. Right. So these two dated basically uh, or were rumored to date the same female. Read. Rumors swirled that Tyler was Jenner's new leading man. Mm -hmm. The stories caused a Twitter exchange between Tyler and Jenner, which seemingly confirmed they are just friends. Mm -hmm. At Tyler. At Perry. Tyler. At Tyler. Apparently Perry. we're dating. Uh -huh. Jenner tweeted to Tyler. Uh-huh. Not possible. We're both gay. So even uh, Tyler, the creator... Uh, in trying to quell the rumors that him and Jenner uh, were dating, he openly admits that he's gay, right? So let's see what the scriptures say about that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. They shall be no whore of the daughter of Israel, uh -huh. nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Because both Tyler the Creator and Jaden Smith are both Israelites uh, from the tribe of Judah. So God says that there should be no Sodomites among his sons, the sons of Jacob. Okay, let's go to Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. The book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Uh -huh. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, mm -hmm. both of them have committed an abomination. So both have committed an abomination, which is disgust to the Most High, if a man lies down with another man as he does with a woman, as he should with a woman. Go ahead. They shall surely be put to death. Though God says that the judgment for homosexuality is death. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 9. Because in what we just read in this article, 
we are reading that the two of these young men were open about their relationship with each other. Okay? The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, and verse 9. Mm-hmm. The shoe of their countenance. The show of their countenance, read. Doth witness against them. It does witness against them. How? And they declare their sin as Sodom. Right. So they declare their sin as Sodom, their homosexual desires, which God says is a sin, an abomination. Read. They hid it not. They don't even hide it. So it's out in the open for everybody to see. So everybody knows. But God himself says that thing is an abomination unto him. Read. Woe unto their soul. So God says, woe unto their souls. Woe meaning distress or or destruction to their souls. Go ahead and get Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Uh-huh. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. So without the remnant of the, the men who go out and teach that the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, and that we must keep God's commandments, if this didn't happen, if the Most High didn't send these prophets back out on the earth, what does God say would happen? We should have been as Sodom. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. We would we would be just like Sodom and Gomorrah. We would fall into those same sexual uh, perversions and desires that led Sodom and Gomorrah to be destroyed. Go to Revelations chapter 11 and verse 8. The book of Revelations chapter 11 and verse 8. Uh -huh. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. The of dead the bodies of the Israelites, dead spiritually, read shall lie in the street of the great city. Right. They will lie in the street of the great city Babylon, which is America. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So that spiritual city, that spiritual Babylon, uh, is called Sodom because of the sins of uh, openly gay marriages, openly homosexual and lesbian affairs. Uh, and as Egypt, because this is the place that we would also serve our captivity. Okay? Is that it? Where also our Lord was crucified. Where also our Lord was crucified, being that it would be taught that Christ loves everybody, including the sinners, including those who commit homosexual acts. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Mm hmm Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So now the Bible is telling us in the New Testament that the unrighteous, those who do not commit God, do not keep God's commandments, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters. And it's funny that it mentions do not be deceived. Don't be fooled, neither. Read it again. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. Fornicators, sexual sins, sex outside of marriage, read. Nor idolaters. Uh huh. Nor adulterers. Nor adulterers having sex with somebody outside of your marriage, read. Nor effeminate. Mm -hmm. nor, nor effeminate, meaning a man with female tendencies, read. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That would be your homosexual or even your lesbian affairs or relations, read. Nor thieves, mm -hmm. nor covetous, mm -hmm. nor drunkards, nor revilers, uh -huh. nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So God says that all these who commit these sins will not inherit the kingdom of God. That is the word of God. Go to Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. The book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. So now we're reading in the law of God that man should not lie down with another man as he does with womankind. Uh, is that it? It is an abomination. God says, and it is abomination. Go to verse 29. Uh, verse 29. Uh -huh. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations. Any of these disgusting things, read. Even the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among the people. Right. So if these brothers are still... Uh, in these disgusting or abominable acts, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. Give me Sirach chapter 15 in verse 13. How does God actually feel about abominations? The book of Sirach chapter 15 in verse 13. Mm -hmm. The Lord hateth all abominations. So God says he hates all abominations, all of them. Read on. And they that fear God love it not. And those that love God 
and keep his commandments and fear God, they don't love the abominations either, okay? So again, these two young men are Israelites. They can repent from their sins. Uh, go to Acts chapter 13 and verse 38. The book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 38. Uh-huh. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. So all those who believe that Christ is a black man, that the Israelites are uh, the children of God, that we must keep God's commandments. Read on. Verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, mm -hmm. that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Christ is preached the forgiveness through Christ is preached the forgiveness of sins. Read it. Read and, on. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. And by him, all are justified from all things who believe on Christ. That means we must be keeping God's commandments and repenting from those evil ways that we've been taught here in Babylon the Great, where the Bible calls Sodom and Egypt. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I see, we deliver the truth. <laughs> 